The Australians who've come to Washington represent a range of political parties. They say the one thing really that unites them is their call for the charges against Julian Assange to be dropped. They're here sitting down with members of Congress. They've also held meetings with officials at the State Department and the Department of Justice, which is prosecuting Mr Assange. Now, he is currently being held in London's Belmarsh Prison. He has been there for more than four years while the US tries to extradite him to face 18 offences. They include charges under the Espionage Act and they relate to the obtaining and the publication of classified material, uh, that is uh, military and diplomatic material. Now before that, Julian Assange spent around seven years in uh, Ecuador's embassy in London, uh, the Australians here argue that uh, this has dragged on for too long. They wouldn't go into any detail as to the nature of those discussions that they had with Department of Justice officials, but they say uh, that they believe they received a fair hearing. We want to make sure that people clearly understand we did not come here to pick a fight. We came here to present a case and to lobby for an outcome. Now, there aren't all that many members of Congress who publicly support the call for uh, the prosecution of Julian Assange to be abandoned, but this group is hoping to meet with a couple of Democrats tomorrow, and they did sit down with a couple of Republicans on Capitol Hill earlier today. The man spent 10 years uh, in virtual, solitary, you know, confinement, I think, for, for printing facts. Like, he's been overly punished. You know, we have something here in uh, the United States called the Eighth Amendment, which prohibits cruel and unusual punishment, overly severe punishment. The time he served is, if he were convicted of something or pled guilty, should be more than enough. Now, this issue has been raised at a government-to-government -government level between Australia and the United States. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has previously said enough is enough, that he doesn't think anything is being served by Mr Assange's ongoing incarceration. And some of the politicians here really want the Prime Minister to bring this up uh, with President Joe Biden when he visits Washington next month. But when this issue was raised uh, recently in Australia during a visit by the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, he really pushed back on those concerns. He said uh, he had heard them, he understood them, but he argued that Mr Assange had been charged with very serious criminal conduct, uh, that the allegations related to one of the most significant compromises of classified material in US history.